Hello everyone and welcome back to the Latent Gamer. Today we're going to talk about weapon mastery in Zombie Army 4 Dead War. It took me a while to make this video because I had to put in the grind to make sure I can give you all some solid information on each weapon and a strategy to gain the mastery for that weapon. This video will be focused on talking about how to master each weapon from the easiest to the hardest so that when you get your upgrade kits you know which weapon to focus on to get that platinum skin and that extra weapon damage. I will also share the easiest method to complete the challenge given to master your weapon. This video will however not talk about the weapon in details like advantages and disadvantages. I will make a second video for that so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that video when it goes live. Okay so let's start with rifles and let's talk about DLC weapons first. I didn't purchase these weapons as yet but DLC weapons do not require upgrade kits for upgrading. Rather, you are given specific challenges per node to complete in-game. They are a little more challenging to upgrade and a little underpowered in the beginning, but they are the most rewarding weapons to master and often really strong at the end. So this video will not be talking about DLC weapons as well, because you do not require upgrade kits to upgrade these weapons. So the easy sniper to master is the G43. And this might be easy for some and hard for others, but all you have to do is use a sniper rifle and shoot 10 sniper zombies through their scopes. And don't worry, it's not as hard as it sounds, okay? So go out there and snap those sniper zombies, alright? In second place, we have the Mossy Nagant, which is just about the most powerful rifle in the game. To master this weapon, you need to get 200 headshots over 50 meters. And I know for some, it's hard to measure distance in video games. But if you go back to the very first mission, standing here and killing these zombies is actually over 50 meters. And sniping every zombie from here is over 50 meters. And when you're fresh out of zombies, just hit options and restart checkpoint and you're good to go. Oh yeah, if you want more zombies before starting, choose 4 player zombie setup, whichever difficulty you want and you're golden. In last place we have the M1 Grand and this is one of the overall more difficult weapons to master because you are required to kill 100 heavies, officers or blind screamers by shooting their weak spots. The heavy's weak spot is on its head under the iron helmet and the screamer's weak spot is on its back which you will never shoot. So your best bet is the officers because one shot to the heart gets the job done. You can get this weapon mastered at Planetarium Assault but Please don't play this on 4 player setup because it can get a little wild. You can also master your weapon at Hell Base Chapter 3 or Hell Machine which spawns a decent amount of officers to kill. Okay so for your secondary weapon, the first and easiest also quickest to master is the MP44 and all you have to do is kill a zombie every 2 seconds for a total of 30 kills which in other words means you should get a 30 kill combo as quick as possible. In second place we have both the M30 drilling and the Thompson machine gun and they are here because you are required to do the same thing to master them. So it's more of are you a shotgun person or a machine gun person. The M30 drilling requires you to dismember 250 zombies while the Thompson requires dismembering the legs of 200 zombies. So this can be easily accomplished just by focusing the zombie parts in any mission. In last place we have the trench gun which is not the best gun in the game but requires you to do the most challenging task to master and all you have to do is get 200 triple kills or more which can be done on any map with insane zombie spawns. It's not the best because the penetration of the shots aren't great so it makes getting those triple kills harder so you have to rely on shooting interactables or the shock mod on your gun which attacks multiple zombies at once. For your pistol of choice, the first and easiest pistol to master is the M1911 and all you need to do is get 200 headshots with this bad boy to get that platinum skin. In second place we have the Webley MKVI and to master this weapon you need to get 200 double kills which can be done on any map you see fit. But remember, to speed up the process, change your zombie setup to 4 players. Last but not least we have the C96 pistol which is my personal favorite. And this might be the hardest weapon to master for most. 
To master this weapon you need to get 200 ricochet kills and at first I thought this was insane because I thought I could own the ricochet bullets off armored giants and zombie helmets but the easiest method to do this is to simply find a map with concrete floors, a lot of zombies and a close ammo box and you should have this done in no time. For me, I was lucky enough to have this weapon fully upgraded when they released the event with the infinite pistol ammo at Meat Locker. So there you have it everyone, mastering each weapon from easiest to hardest. If this video was somewhat helpful or informative, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos and ring that bell to always be notified. The next video will dive into the advantages and disadvantages of each weapon so don't forget to watch that video okay?